Hello my lovelies and uh, welcome back to Allotment of the Dead. So uh, today I thought we'd um, make a couple of um, brine ferments uh, for, for the chilies that I've brought back from the plot um, to make some chilli sauces a little bit uh, further down the line. So we'll make a nice ferment today and um, it will leave it for a couple of three weeks and then uh, we'll use that uh, ferment then to make a, a really nice chilli sauce. So uh, let's uh, show you what we've got um, to do that. Okay, uh, we're going to make a couple of different ferments uh, today. So we've got these nice yellow chilies, um, a mixture of different ones. Um, orange cayenne and we've got some really nice lemon drop chilies and uh, again another little yellow chili so this is the anchor sunrise chilies so uh, what we'll do is we'll prepare these so I've given them a good wash already and then uh, we'll prepare them to go into our uh, fermentation jars uh, these killer ones and uh, we're also going to make a, a ferment out of these rather nice Ethiopian um, Beraba Brown uh, chilies. So again, it's not something I've ever used before to try and make a sauce out of, but um, they look really interesting and I've grown a lot of these this year. So I thought I'd give them a go and see what sort of flavour we can make of a sauce. So... Uh, yeah, should be interesting. Okay, we'll set this up and then we'll uh, prepare what we need to do. Okay guys, so uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, prepare these and get them into our fermentation jar here. So, what we need to do is chop the tops and tails off them. So some of these larger ones, we can chop them in half. For seeds and all, don't worry about taking the seeds out. And we get a lovely, lovely smell coming off these. I think I might need to get a few more chilies in this ferment. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. I wanted the base to be these yellow ones and the uh, the lemon drop because I kind of wanted a citrus kind of taste to these. So this is uh, one of the Anchor Sunrise ones that's starting to go red. Okay. Again, these lovely lemon drop chilies. There's quite a bit of heat to them this year. I was quite surprised. Uh, there's one of the tasting videos that I did earlier on of these lemon drop chilies but again a fantastic smell coming off these now so see this is this one's a, another orange cayenne not quite ripe but that'll add a little bit more flavour to it as well Okay, so uh, these ones here are Trinidad perfume. So these ones are zero heat, but lots of flavour. 
of what you'd expect a habanero to be. So these will go in as well. And looking at the jar, it looks like we're about half full. Uh, what we don't want in a ferment is a large, what they call a headroom. So that area from the top of the chili up to the, the lid is the headroom. So you want to try and cut down that headroom. So what we'll do is we'll use some other chilies. So it might actually make this uh, actual sauce a kind of a mixture between a yellow and a red chili because we'll add some of the, uh, the cayenne red chilies, I think. Okay, again, give them a nice wash. Make sure there's no nasties and germs and horrible bacteria and things on there because you don't want to be introducing anything horrible to these ferments. Ferment fails are kind of when your things aren't clean. So, these red ones I'm adding are a mixture of Joe's Long Cayenne and there's a Chinese Long Chili and some red flame chili as well. So we'll fill the jar up. Okay. off with blemishes and things. is going to be covered in the brine so we've been again cutting down that head space this is going to make for a different flavored chili different fla different flavors of chili in there will add to a, a multi kind of flavored sauce so the next step we need to do is make the brine solution so Let's see if we can move you here. So what we need to do is make up a about a 2.5% brine solution. So we'll set that to grams. So what we want is 25 grams in a litre. So we're using rock salt here okay that will do it's 26 but it will do okay so we'll put that into our jug there so what we'll use is a nice hopefully good quality um, spring water so don't use tap water for this so we'll make up up to 
litre. Okay, so that's a litre's worth. And then what we'll do, is we'll give that a stir. We want to try and get as much of this dissolved in the water as possible. Because this will make your nice two and a half percent brine solution. It needs to be above two percent really. Um, if it gets us down as low as one percent then it won't actually make the uh, the lactobacillus bacteria that you want to grow in this it won't uh, allow them to grow or you'll get those other nasty ones actually growing instead of it okay so next step is to pour it into our nice fermentation vessel Agitate it a bit, make sure there's no air pockets. Air pockets will allow nasties to get in. Okay. And you want to just about cover your fruit. Okay, so uh, what we need to do now is put the lid on this. So again, we need to cover up the uh, the top here. So this I'm using is uh, I've got again I've given it a really good wash. Uh, this is a leaf from our grape in the back garden so uh, we'll use this as a topper for this ferment and then we've got a nice weight that comes with the fermentation vessel and then followed by uh, nice lid with a it's got a nice little hole in the top so as the gases are made from the fermentation they'll be released into the air okay so that's all ready to go so what we need to do that again is put it into somewhere that's um, there you go knock a few of the the bubbles out. There will be some, but again, hopefully, with everything covered, that lactobacillus will be able to grow efficiently. Okay, so, so that then will be put into a a nice warm place so it's about 20 degrees is where you want it for about three weeks or so okay so we'll do the same with our these nice Ethiopian Beruba brown chilies so okay we we'll have to put that one to one side I don't know how that one got in there. Okay, well, right, we'll figure out what to do with that later. Right, so. We'll get another one of our well-washed jars. And 
again. Let's start slicing them. Oh, really nice smell to these. There is some that are still slightly green, but that would be fine. Plenty of seeds in these as well. Well, okay, we'll leave them in. Should be fine. Okay, people do add other vegetables at this point, like celery and uh, things like fennel seed and things like that, but uh, I generally just ferment the chilies and then I add the other bits and pieces when I'm making the sauce to the actual sauce I make. So, I'm nearly there with this now. And because this particular chili isn't very warm, what I'm going to do is add another little bit of heat to this. Let's actually just chop that little one up at that, stick that one in. So I'm going to add a little hot chili to the mix. So, one scorpion chili. And we'll stick that right on the top. Again, we'll leave the seeds in. Okay, we'll slice that in half. Okay. And again, we add the brine. It's got a bit of chilli on the bottom. To make it a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll make another half a litre or so just so we've got enough. So 12.5 grams. some of the bubbles out while we're here. Okay. 
Okay, push it down. Again, what we'll do is we've got a nice leaf from the grape, and then the weight that again has been nicely cleaned, followed by. fermentation lid okay so it's got the hole in the top that will allow all the gases and things to escape as they're given off with the lactobacillus and again give it a nice couple of things to knock the air out right get rid of those Okay, so that's our two ferments made. Uh, so these will be kept at about 20 degrees and then we'll come back to these in about uh, two to three weeks or so. And uh, we'll make a nice chilli sauce at that point. So. Okay, so that's the uh, couple of ferments made. So we'll be uh, back here in a couple of weeks, uh, maybe two or three weeks, see how it goes and uh, we'll make some really nice chilli sauces out of these. So, all the best guys. Take care, bye bye.